With regard to the bargaining chip of the Ohio checkbook that you referenced on the Republican legislator's side, uh, I, I wasn't there and I don't like to try to relay him when I wasn't at a meeting, but I'm told that um, Commissioner Darden last week kind of put up an initial red herring that it may not be nearly as easy to implement in, in Louisiana because of computer systems to track things of that nature. Again, I didn't hear him verbatim, but, but uh, in, in your assessment, it, it, do you believe that it would be realistic to recreate an Ohio checkbook for Louisiana? Uh, and could there be a scenario whereby that we're told that it would, taxes get enacted, and then all of a sudden, well, we just don't have the capability to do this or are anywhere near what the Ohio checkbook uh, is? Well, the question about implementing the Ohio checkbook in Louisiana, which is basically a very um, transparent website uh, that they have in Ohio that allows people to basically look at almost every expenditure that's made in state government through, through the website. And I have looked at it, it's very user friendly. I mean, you know, if you're into that stuff, it could be like a video game that you get to because <laughs> you can go find out how much everybody makes or how much everybody put on their credit card. I mean, you can dig down pretty deep. I mean, I think that something will happen during the regular, I mean, during the special session that addresses the transparency issue. I didn't hear um, commissioner's comments either. I saw some of them in the newspaper. Um, I do think that we have some technology issues in our state uh, that, that are real, and we've had them for some period of time. And frankly, if this is a way to try and help us also, besides have the transparency, to also get sort of some of our IT stuff uh, better updated and better talking to each other, look, I'm all for it. I think we ought to take advantage of both of those things. I don't know if we can do it uh, as quickly as they were able to do it in Ohio, but I do think we can get something started on it and um, hopefully it's something that we could continue to you know persevere on i, I do think it's it's going to be hard to do it overnight but i do think if we make a commitment to do it that's something that would actually have a, a large benefit thank you we have time for one more question um, yeah just to follow up on the ohio checkbook comparison thereof um, the price tag one do you think that's going to be an issue for the, the fiscal more fiscally minded members of the legislature because obviously that that has developed some concerns yeah, the price tag on the Ohio checkbook thing. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be an issue, and I think part of the first issue is to figure out exactly, you know, what the cost is. I mean, I don't see this quite honestly happening overnight, like I mentioned. I mean, I think it's going to be a multi-year thing. Uh, so I think what we'll see in terms of the revenue is a fight over how much is enough to get us started. Uh, but to continue all the way through, I think it is going to, you know, take some degree of money, largely because we're just not equipped to, to do anything like that now. I mean, we're, we're not like. Technology central here in Louisiana and state government in a lot of ways. And so I think on the one hand, we need to kind of raise the bar to get to that level, and then you've got to go on top of that. Uh, so I think it's going to be a, a discussion, but I, I do think there's going to be a big push forward, and I think we'll see something passed um, that at least begins to address it or get the ball moving forward. Thank you.